Well, when I see the Heisman Trophy, the thought that comes to my mind really is the hard work, dedication, uh, determination, the commitment. Still to this day, when I get introduced to somewhere, it's uh, you know Roger Staubach, former Heisman Trophy winner. People love to see the Heisman. They don't want to see Johnny Lander. They want to see the Heisman. And I think that's great. They say that big time players make big time plays in big time games. And I believe that wholeheartedly. Hello, Heisman! Great athlete, great competitor. In all things, John Capaletti represents a Heisman Trophy winner. I'm proud of the fact that I'm with a group of guys that have the same experience and know what it's like to be at that level. Thank you with all my heart for giving me this trophy and to my coaches and my teammates who made it possible for me to receive it. The reason I won the Heisman Trophy is because I was on some outstanding football teams, guys who made me look good enough to win. It's not my trophies, but it's the members of the 1953 Notre Dame team. If it wasn't for them, uh, I would have been just another guy walking the streets. You really have to become a team. And then this one person shines through, and lo and behold, you have a Heisman winner. Here's your ball game, folks. And Clark's a deep one for the end zone. It is still looked at as uh, the most prestigious award of, of any kind in sports as the Heisman Trophy. Being announced Heisman Trophy winner Desmond Howard never, ever, ever gets old. Just remember one thing, how you got here. Don't ever forget it. Be respectful of the trophy and be respectful of the fans that cheered you on. We care about each other. We care about the Heisman name. They're coming into a special group of people who are really doing their best to uphold the honor of the award. And now the moment is here. Who's it going to be? Who's going to join the 26 Heisman Trophy winners on stage behind me here from the 50s? Dick Kazmaier, John Latner, Howard Hopalong Cassidy, Paul Horning, John David Crow, and Billy Cannon, his golden anniversary year. From the 60s, Gary Beban. From the 70s, Jim Plunkett, Pat Sullivan, Johnny Rogers, John Capoletti, Archie Griffin, Tony Dorsett, and Billy Sims. From the 80s, George Rogers, Mike Rogier, Doug Flutie, his silver anniversary season, and Tim Brown. And from the 90s, Desmond Howard, Gino Toretta, Charlie Ward, Rashawn Salam, Danny Werfel, and Ron Dane. And from the 2000s, Eric Crouch, and down on his seat, of course, Tim Tebow. It's a great turnout. They are almost as eager as these five finalists to find out who will join this club. So we bring on the Heisman Trophy trustee, Mike Comerford, for the big announcement. Mike. Good evening, everyone. In a moment, on behalf of the Heisman trustees, I will be announcing the winner of the 2009 Heisman Trophy. Before that, though, uh, I would like to congratulate all five of our candidates for their achievements on the field and the distinguished manner in which they have represented college football this year. It has been 75 years since Jay Berwanger won the first Heisman Trophy. Since that time, college football has changed in many ways, but the Heisman has remained and endures as one of the most prestigious awards in all sports. One of you tonight will be welcomed by our Heisman winners on the stage into the elite Heisman fraternity. From now on, your name will be followed by the words Heisman Trophy winner. And so, here it is. In the closest race ever, the 2009 Heisman Trophy is awarded to Mark Ingram of the University of Alabama.
Good evening, everybody. I'm a little overwhelmed right now. I'm sorry, but um, it's a great honor to be a, a member of the Heisman uh, fraternity, and I'm just so excited to bring Alabama their first Heisman um, winner. First and foremost, I'd like to thank God. I'm so blessed, and without him, I wouldn't be been able to accomplish this. And I'd like to thank my family, my mother and my grandparents that sit right there. My father has been a great influence on my life, and I love him to death. All my aunts and uncles, my sisters. I'd like to thank my teammates. It truly is a team award, and They've had a tremendous amount to do with my success. And I just want to thank all of them, especially the offensive line. Thank my coaches for being here, Coach Saban and his wife, Miss Terry. Um, coach McElwain, our offensive coordinator, and running back coach, Burton Burns. I'd also like to thank our intern, Cedric Irvin, for being there for me, being my eyes on the field. He's been there for me since day one he's been there. I'd also like to thank President Dr. Witt for coming to support me and Athletic Director Mal Moore. I'd like to thank all our SIDs, uh, Jeff Puritan and Josh. They've helped make this a lot easier for me, this whole transition. The strength coach, Coach Cochran and all his staff have had a lot to, to do with my success. And I want to thank the, the trainers and all the teachers at our school because <laughs> they're important too. Most, most importantly, all these finalists right here, we were, they were all well-deserving. They're all great players, and they've helped their teams out tremendously, and they've had tremendous seasons. But what is most important to me is the relationships I de developed with all of them. You see them all on TV, and it just means a lot to me to bond with them and find out the real pe people that they are. And we've developed relationships in Orlando in these, pa in these past two days that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And I'm really looking forward to being a part of the Heisman family. And, so just thank you. <laughs> Mark, I think, I think we can tell what it means that there's never any shame in, in wearing your passion and your emotions on your sleeve when, you, when you're faced with a moment like this. You, you'll get a trophy you know, just like this, and, and you, you said what it means. Your portrait's going to be up here forever. So with all the championships and all the All-Americans, Bama now has a Heisman Trophy winner. <laughs> You felt the pressure. You felt the pressure of that, didn't you? They brought it up a lot down in Tuscaloosa this season. Yeah, just everybody that's in the Alabama family has been having my back, supporting me. I'm walking to class, students just flashing me the Heisman pose. And just <laughs> the student, I mean, just people back in Flint supporting me, telling me that they were praying for me, that they supporting me, and I was a winner. No matter what happened, it was just real important to me. Get the big win, the performance against Florida, and a big win against Auburn, but you didn't play well and you got hurt late. Despite getting that win, were there moments when you thought, I might have blown this, I might have blown my chance? In the back, it was in the back of my head, but the most important thing to me was that we got that win. Uh, I didn't have the best game ever, but I contributed in a different way. The passing game opened up and Trent had a great game and the whole offense just stepped up and, we, and they uh, put together a great drive. And I'm just so proud of all, all of our teammates because we've had a great season. Next up, against Colt McCoy in Texas in the BCS National Championship game in January. You ready for this? Ready to handle the extra weight of this? It weighs 25 pounds. It can feel a lot heavier when you have to carry it. <laughs> oh, I'm just I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you pick it up? Give it a test drive. Mark Ingram, the third straight sophomore to win the Heisman and the first ever player from Alabama. And as we said, it was the closest race ever. Just 28 points. Mark Ingram separating Toby Gerhardt, who ran second place. That's much closer than the, than the Bo Jackson Chuck Long race back in 1985. Kirk, let's check out some of the regional aspects of this. Yeah, we talked about at the beginning of the broadcast, Chris, how important the three regions that didn't have a finalist, how that would turn out to be. And in fact, that's exactly where Mark Ingram ended up winning the Heisman Trophy. If you look at the Midwest, you can see Mark Ingram first, Toby Gerhardt finishing second. 
I'm going to hope that I can figure this out. You go back to the Mid-Atlantic. Again, Ingram wins the Mid-Atlantic. Gerhardt finishes second. And the same thing could be said for the final region in the Northeast. Mark Ingram making a statement all across the country and especially turned out in the three regions where we did not have a finalist. Ingram just edging out Toby Gerhardt. And as far as the Southwest and the South, this, the votes were split. Sue ended up winning the Southwest. And uh, in the South, uh, Mark, Mark Ingram won there as well. And Adama Kinsu made a big statement for defensive players. He had the most points ever this year for a fourth place finisher. So there it is, your final tally. Mark Ingram in the closest Heisman vote ever. And I want the fraternity members to welcome in Mark. They enjoyed uh, your emotional speech. And now you get to know these guys and, and be a part of this group forever. Tim Tebow, come on up. First of many handshakes between this group here. We thank you for watching the presentation of the 2009 Heisman Trophy presented by Nissan from here in the Nokia Theater. Coming up next at ESPN 30 at 30 Film, The U. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for Lee, Kirk, and Desmond, our entire team here in New York City. I'm Chris Fowler. So long from New York City, Mark Ingram, your 2009 Heisman Trophy winner, a first for the University of Alabama. We'll